today i got one complaint from the mahindra customer uh, today i am planning to replace with a new one only why because the customer is very heavy and they are not having a patience to wait for uh, to repair so that's why i am using this obd start to replace with a new ecm so right now in my back i am having one board this is a bosch edc 17c81 so this hardware is having a issue with accelerator pedal so vehicle is not rising obviously if the vehicle is not rising means we are having issue with the trico so customer i asked with a customer and he is not ready to give a time for us so that's why i am planning to replace with this he is ready to accept this one no issues but we want to take the data backup it's very most important so today i am using this obd stuff for to replace the new ec so first we need to start the corrections so now i need to open this ecu rom it's already opened by my staff so hardware is look like this it's a trico so it was having some accelerator pedal issue i think there might be issue with the tracks but need not to worry we will go with a replacement with a new one but before going to replace this first we should see in the device i need to go for ecu flashing i need to enter for ecm enter i need to select the brand it's the brand from the mahindra where is mahindra yes mahindra and this ecu number is edc 17c81 so look at this number it's edc 17c81 and it comes with trico number is tc and it comes with trico number is tc 1782 so here the trico number is tc 1782 so the hardware is clean and clear and the information is 100% correct and and the information is clean and correct and the information is clear so now i am going to pack this ecu why because we will going to dump the data through by bench method so that's why i don't want to open this ecu now i just pack it with a screw done so this is clearly showing that we need to do the programming by bench method click on start bench and we need to select that p003 or p003 plus or mp001 so i don't have a p003 and mp001 in this device i got only p003 plus so i need to select only this p003 plus it's a yellow color adapter so i just need to connect this it's just a obd male and female connector so no problem click on okay this function is available by connecting the server please ensure the internet is in normal okay its the dashboard is open i already connected a adapter for the device click on pinouts so the hardware is look like this and the image too so this all the bench connections we need to do for the vehicle so let's i need to open the packing cover of a main cable the main cable is nothing but a obd cable and this obd cable it's a 16 pin connector and opposite side it comes with the one of the adapter so this cable i need to connect for the hardware before going to do any work please just lock these two connector threads or else your device will get damage as soon as possible why because the replacement of this small small connectors it will take lot of time in this short time if you going to damage your device means you will going to lose a lot of money so i am just connecting this for the obd adapter and going back going for guide here we need to do the connections for p00 and now i just need to take out the bench cable this is the bench cable using this bench cable i just need to plug it for the 
hardware. It's just an end-to-end, end-to-end, end-to-end connector. It's very easy to work. All the information is given here only. So this is what the connections information. And in this all connection, they clearly mentioned we need to connect ground wire, 12 volts, and this much cable it is having in the bench cable. So nice information. I'm going back. I need to go for pin notes now. So this is the hardware. For this hardware, I'm going for the second image. In this second image, they clearly mentioned how many connections? One, two, three, four. Here they clearly mention all the connections. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we need to do we need to do just seven connections for the hardware. So let's finish all the things one by one. So I will going to keep this cable here only. Let's take a jumper wire. So ECMs comes with a all with the small cables to with a big size cable. So I need to take only big size cable for two quantity. So in this one, I need to remove this one. So big size pins. These two are the big size pins. Look at the size of a connector. It will going to fit for the. It will going to fit for the ECM like this so here pin number five done and pin number two but while doing any work please careful all cables comes with yellow color so if you do go into if you going to make a small mistake means you will going to lose a hardware we need to connect for the red wire so this is a red wire 12 volts you need to take the red wire cable and just do connection for red done and next black with black wire done now two connections i finished next we need to do the connections for ignition from the last second line we need to ignore four pins i need to take a small jumper wire so these all the round pins and these all the main pins so it's for the extension i don't want this cable yes i got a small pins these are the small pins what we are having right now so it comes with male and with a small pin so this is also comes with male pin but it's an extension cable i don't want extension so now i just need to do the connection for ignition I need to ignore four pins. After fourth, I need to connect it for fifth. This is for the ignition. The ignition is always with a color called gray. But here, just need to plug like this. So they clearly mention IG. Next, I need to do the connection for GPT zero. Now I need to do the connection for GPT zero and GPT one. So here they clearly mention that GPT zero, GPT one, it comes with fourth pin in the first line, and GPT one will be. Second pin in the last line. So GPT zero. This is GPT zero, and this is a GPT one. I need to do the last connection that is called can low can high. If you finish these two connections, means I did all the connections for the hardware. I need to take out the small cable. So it comes after one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh one. Seventh one. It comes with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Done. And next, I need to connect it for can high also. Done. So here we need to connect it for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. After eighth, seventh one, we need to connect for eighth one. This is called can low. yellow color and next one is called can high and 
I need to do connection for the can handle. So this hardware is having a very safe connection. There is no issue with the wiring harness end to end connection, end to end connection from the OBD socket. Now I did all the same connections for the new ECM. So if you want to start the program means I can show you here. So I will go in for the option called write e write EEPROM loaded with the hex editor data. Okay. So write the data for flash means go for the flash and load on external data click ok so please make sure that home dp file folder ok so here i clearly saved all the files called flash and eprom so previously i just back up for eprom that's why i went for hex editor now i need to go for the flash actually click on this flash ok now it's starting data writing for the hardware so you just need to spend maximum 5 to 10 minutes within 5 to 10 minutes we can swap the which ECM you want in one step by bench method or maybe via OBD method. So the data is written successfully for the new hardware. This is what the best example what I can show for the ECU called EDC 17C81. I hope you enjoyed this video and you got a clear picture about this OBD star. And if you want this product means please contact to the below number. You will get a clear information about the product reviews and the detailed information. And we will go into dispatch for your same location also. And it's very easy and comfortable tool. And it's very affordable tool also and need not to worry about you will get a support from Badra Electronics also. And if you have this tool means you need not to worry about the work on ECMs. It's one of the best tool what we are having in a current market. So I hope you enjoyed this video and you got a clear information about how to read and how to write the ECMs using OBD stars. Okay.